Hello everyone, my name is Noor Atira Atasha binti Ismail. My metric card number is AD170061. Nice to meet you. Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Tajul Maidin bin Sini Ibrahim and my metric number is AD170233. Hello, my name is Shafina. My metric number is AD170005. Hello, my name is Shah Mela Kim bin Mama Hamzani and my metric number is AD170080. Nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Irna Shafika Hassan. My metric number is ED170069. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's me Irna. I will start our presentation with the first part, Chapter 1, Introduction. For product background, pineapple. Pineapple is an English name that resembles from Spanish word pina. Thus, our group choose MD2 pineapple as it offers many advantages such as come in more significant size in weight that range between 1.3 kg to 2.5 kg. Next, the problem from existing product. First, Physical injuries from existing product where the farmer needs to use both hands in order to harvest the fruit using a machete knife to cut the stem for harvesting. And the other hand helps to tilt the fruit to get a better angle to cut. So this situation can be so dangerous. Second, physical injuries from pineapple. Sharp leaf around pineapple is harmful to human and the pineapple plant is short that make the farmer bend the body multiple times and cause back pain. The objective is to design and develop a mechanical device known as pineapple plucker for pineapple plantation farmers. Next, project scope. First, the pineapple plucker is designed using engineering software which is SolidWorks 2019 and the second one is the pineapple plucker is designed to accommodate and withstand any type or weight of pineapples and the last one is the simulation of pineapple plucker considers stainless steel, aluminium alloys and rubber as material. The significance of this project is to invent a new product that can give excellent ergonomic and reduce time consuming. Second, to create a product with affordable price, high durability and also an easy to carry device with enable farmers to handle and operate the device. Team formation. Our team consists of five team members who are Noor Atira Atasha binti Ismail as our group director and worm leader. Our group project manager is Noor Shafina binti Muhammad Hatta. Our group mechanical engineer is helped by Tajol Maidin bin Sini Ibrahim. And me, Irna Shivika Asan, holds the position of process engineer. And our group design engineer will be Shamel Hakim bin Muhammad Hamzani. As you can see, this is our organization chart. Hello, my name is Noor Atira Atasha. And now, we will proceed with the chapter 2 defined task. So now we are on the second phase in conceptual design on how to gather the information. In this project, there are four types of method will be used including pattern search, catalog, website and commercial product. A pattern search is to find the relevant mechanism that will producing the product. As shown here, there are three types of pattern have been chosen for the investigation including fruit picker with stem cutting jaws, fruit picker and hand operated fruit picker next from the commercial product catalog and website all the details help us to give a new idea to improve the condition of the product itself for example such as long length folding garden picking tools manual fruit picker and the telescopic fruit picker next next is this is our group objective tree and waiting objective tree which is help us to clarify the customer and fulfills the design needed. The figure shows the quality function development as the tool of choice for our group to satisfy all the customer needs and to develop the design information from the questionnaire. From this figure, we can see that the device workload is ranked number one, followed by size, material rigidity, weather resistance, safety features, and also energy efficiency and the lastly rank in top 11 is diameter hello my name is Shamil Hakim and i will continue with the chapter 3 conceptual design first component decomposition analysis 
Component decomposition diagram is a component type block diagram in sub assemblies that make up the product in hierarchical component structure. For an example, trigger and software components are under handle, which forms the sub assembly. Next, function decomposition analysis. Functional decomposition is a method of examining a complicated process to analyze its component, which means that a function plays a role in a larger process whereby decomposition splits the process into smaller, easier to understand units. For an example, the role of trigger for pushing and pulling, the steel bar, and role of the soft pad that gives comfort when using are the smaller roles, but when combined, it gives the role of the handle. After that, Function structure. The function structure representing the standard flow classes divided into energy, material, and the signal to explain and evaluate the pineapple sparkers functions. The block diagram depicting the flows of energy, material, and signal as the label arrows taking the paths between the function blocks. This is our function structure, which shows on how our product functions from the beginning to the end and the energy involved when using the product. Product sketching are based on the morphological chart that have three different combinations that are provided for the concept of pineapple plucker machine. The best sketch will be selected. For our product, combination 1 was selected. Hello, my name is Tajo Maidin. So as for my part is chapter 4, which is the embodiment design. Product architecture is one of the components in the implementation design. The main step to establish the product architecture is creating the schematic diagram of the product. As you can see from the slide, this is the schematic diagram and the interaction between the modules of the pineapple plucker. The schematic diagram shows the relation between the elements and the features of the pineapple plucker. Next. The second step to establish the product architecture will be the cluster the element of schematic diagram. Based on the cluster elements schematic diagram of the pineapple plucker, we have five clusters of element which is energy source cluster, control system cluster, body frame one cluster, body frame two cluster, and also the harvester cluster. Next, what are the materials used to make the pineapple plucker? To make the best design of a product, Material selection is one of the process that cannot be neglected in engineering design. The material selection process is essential to achieve the greater performance, durable and ergonomic of a product. So the material used to make the body frame, handle, spring base and also the trigger will be aluminium. Next, the material used for making the fixed cutter, moving cutter, fixed grabber, moving grabber and the steel bar for cutter and grabber will be stainless steel. And lastly, for the material used to make the grip handle and the grip trigger will be rubber. Hi, it's me again, Shafina. I will explain about Chapter 5, Detailed Design and Product Simulation. A detailed drawing is a drawing of a single component assembly of multiple parts of an entire assembly system. It provides a complete and precise description of a part dimension and the junction between the component to show its detailed form. At the right side, there will be our product diagram. In this slide, it shows the analysis on certain component. For static analysis, we have analysis for stress, strain, displacement, and factor of safety. For fatigue, we have damage and life plot. Lastly, for buckling, we have done the analysis on the body frame. Next, 
Executable prototype. Executable prototype is the phase in developing prototype. The first manufacturing process involved in developing prototype is milling process. For an example, this process is used to make a slot at the handle. After that, drilling process is also required to make holes at the position of screw, bolt, and as well as making the slots. Next, cutting process and grinding process by using grinder. Cutting process is to cut steel into desired pieces while grinding process is for smoothing up the surface after cutting or drilling. Welding process also required to fuse some of the parts together. Turning process is done to shape certain steel bar into cylindrical shape which is used to shape the trigger part. Painting process is also done to improve the appearance of the product. Lastly, fitting process where all the parts assemble together to become a complete product prototype. Lastly, as for the final prototype product, is the product final rendering process with the images that gives a real situation of the pineapple plucker device that illustrate the appearance of the device with a different scene and a background to make it more realistic when the real product is made. As you can see from the slide, the images shows the pineapple plucker at a pineapple plantation, the pineapple plucker close up and the pineapple plucker after the plucking process. Hello, this is Atasha and I will proceed with the Chapter 7 Sustainability and Environmental Consideration in Engineering Design. So, how does our product plays an integral part in sustainability and environmental concept? Here are some concept development that may lead to the answer. The first one is economic development. The material used in pineapple plucker device is from recycled products which can reduce manufacturing costs while reducing the environment's negative impact. The product is also made from cheap but strong materials such as aluminium to provide a longer lifetime. The second one is social development. The device can maintain a healthy lifestyle because it is designed to help consumers stay in a good body posture to reduce back pain while harvesting pineapple fruits. And the third one is environment development. Pineapple plucker device will not cause any pollution to the environment since no waste material will be produced. Our device is made up of eco-friendly mechanical components and the materials can be recycled. So, all the elements need to be considered and appropriately addressed to achieve good engineering design sustainability. Chapter 8 Economic Costing and Business Plan Number 1 is the fixed cost. As you can see from the left side is the mind map of overhead cost that consists of number 1 water bills 50 ringgit, second electrical bills 150 ringgit and the last one is the transportation and delivery service 200 ringgit that total up to RM400. The total cost of overhead cost from one unit can be calculated by cost per unit equal to total overhead cost divided by total month per unit and we get RM20 ringgit per unit. Next, number 2, variable cost. As you can see, the direct labor cost consists of fabrication and transportation that totals 8,400 ringgit. The total cost of direct labor cost for one unit can be calculated from the cost per unit equal to total direct labor cost divided by total month per unit and we get 420 ringgit per unit. Third one is the variable cost. From the table material cost, you can see that it consists of 9 items that totals 124 ringgit and 60 cent. Next, total cost. Total cost per unit can be calculated from the sum up of fixed cost and variable cost. And it will get 446 ringgit and 23 cent per unit. The selling price for one unit of the manufacturing machine is 550 ringgit Malaysia. And the last one is the development cost. As you can see from the table, it consists of two items. Which the first one market survey 50 ringgit and the second one is the prototyping 100 ringgit and total to 150 ringgit Malaysia. That's all. I will continue with the business plan. Our mission is to develop and improve the conventional method product into a better product that can improve the quality of harvesting pineapple and the harvester safety.
We want to invent a quality product that is sustainable in terms of lifetime to produce environmentally friendly product. Our vision is to provide a better alternative harvesting method to help the community and the industry grow even more. We want to create a healthy working environment in terms of occupational safety and health and the industry environmental aspect. The SWOT analysis is a strategic planning technique used to identify strength, weakness, opportunities and threats associated with business or project planning. At the right side is our SWOT analysis of company. Sale focus. Sale forecasting includes estimating how much people will buy, considering its characteristic and the sale condition. Here, the sale forecasting for the first three years of our product. 